Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. I'm Wiles, and today I'm going to be taking you through every main series Mario Kart game to date, and showing you the best way to emulate each one of them on your PC or mobile device. I will not be covering Mario Kart Tour or the Mario Kart Arcade games, as they are not in the main line of Mario Kart games, but everything else is included here. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going to be going in order from newest to oldest games, which leaves us starting with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. Now the Switch may be Nintendo's newest console, but you would not be able to tell from the emulation side of the system. Emulation for the Switch is very good in general, and this is no exception for the best selling game on the system. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe runs very well on both Yuzu and Ryujinx, the two Switch emulators you have to choose from. Both of these emulators will do the job and run this game well on a medium level PC, but I would personally recommend that you use Yuzu, as it has an easier setup and a more straightforward interface compared to Ryujinx. I'll leave a link to download the Yuzu emulator in the description below, and I'll do the same with all of the other emulators mentioned in this video as well. Moving on, we've got Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, which nowadays is essentially Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with less content and only one item slot. However, it's not absolutely pointless to emulate this game, as it is easier to run than its Switch counterpart, which is nice for people with lower performance PCs still trying to get in on the emulating action. I would highly recommend using the Simu emulator for this game, since it's easy to use and well optimized. Mario Kart 8 is rated as perfectly playable on Simu's official compatibility website. Next up is Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. Emulation for the 3DS is particularly nice because not only is it doable on lower end PCs, but it's even doable on Android devices. The Citra emulator is the clear 3DS emulation king, and is certainly my recommendation for emulating Mario Kart 7. The game is rated as greatly playable on its compatibility page, which is nice on its own, but keep in mind the 3DS games run at a very low resolution by default, which means that people with medium level PCs or better can improve the graphics by enabling features built into the emulator, like anti-aliasing and even upscaling the resolution to up to 8K HD. Alright, now we're moving on to the fan favorite Mario Kart Wii, which is definitely one of the best installments in the series. For those looking to emulate this game, I would have to recommend Dolphin Emulator. Dolphin emulates games for not only Wii, but GameCube as well, and it does a great job with games from both systems. This means that Dolphin is your ideal emulator for playing both Mario Kart Wii, as well as Mario Kart Double Dash, since Double Dash is a GameCube game. That's right, two of the best games in the series are able to be played seamlessly on the easy to set up Dolphin emulator. Moving on, we've now got Mario Kart DS. This game will always hold a special place in my heart since it's how I was introduced to the Mario Kart series, and I'm sure many of you are in the same boat. To emulate Mario Kart DS, I would highly recommend using the Desmoom emulator. It's extremely simple and straightforward, and has just enough bells and whistles to allow for improved resolution and a customizable screen layout. Desmoon provides more than enough to get the job done on even low-end PCs or better. Now we're moving on to the more vintage era, starting with Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. Now the nice thing is that as we move on to these older games, they'll only get easier and easier to emulate since the games are simpler and there's been more time to perfect the emulation on them. This means that emulating Super Circuit and other older installments of the Mario Kart series is very doable on low-end PCs. For those emulating Super Circuit, I would have to recommend Visual Boy Advance. It's the clear Game Boy Advance emulation king, and its performance in games speaks for itself. Alright, here we've got Mario Kart 64, which is, you guessed it, for the Nintendo 64. Emulating Mario Kart 64 is done best through Project 64. The Project 64 emulator will run this game like a dream, and it even allows for net play between other players online. It's all you could ask for in an emulator, and then some more. Finally, we have the one that started them all, Super Mario Kart for the SNES. Given the Super Nintendo's advanced age, there should be absolutely no problem trying to emulate this game on your computer. 
your emulation experience for this game should be near perfect, especially if you're using my recommended emulator, which is SNES 9X. It's sleek and simple and should get you into your 2D racing nostalgia in a flash. As far as acquiring your games, the only way you can legally get them is by ripping or dumping them from your personal collection. Do not resort to piracy. Although emulators are legal, downloading these games is not, and I do not condone it. So yeah, that's about it to this video. Make sure you check out the guides for these emulators down below to get you started playing. I hope you enjoyed, and if I did help you emulate your favorite Mario Kart game, then please consider dropping a like on this video or even subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.